guys, and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars 2014 set review. Guys, this time we have the Vulture Droid. Its number, number is 75041, age is 712, contains 205 pieces, and it retails for 25 US dollars. Um, right off the bat, guys, this is a great set. Definitely something a lot of us hardcore, stands, hardcore Star Wars fans have been looking for. Um, so, very excited. And uh, without ado, let's get right into these minifigures, which is a great, great selection. So the first thing is we have a new type of buzz droid. And those of you who don't remember, the buzz droids, you know, crawl on Anakin's like Jedi Interceptor in the movie. And uh, pretty much try to take over it as well. And they actually do take over Obi-Wan's Starfighter, um, which makes them crash land into General Grievous's ship. Anyhow, so the buzz droids have been redesigned, and they look a lot better. They can actually stand up and look decent, um, and they look a lot more accurate as well. Um, you have some printed um, pieces right here. It's actually a very simple design. There's a, like a new piece right here. It's almost like a gun, um, this piece right here, because it has this little handle. thought that was interesting. A little like saw blade here and its legs. So simple looking minifigure, but uh, nice new design, nice refresh that we could use. Um, next minifigure is just a um, battle droid pilot. Um, some printing on his t uh, chest. Pistol. And uh, yeah. All right, so the big big drive for this set is this brand new minifigure, the Nima Nima Warrior. Um, basically, the I can't say the name, but basically the species that is like Newt Gunray and a lot of the Separatist leaders. Um, this is the guard, and so this is a this is a figure we did not see coming at all, um, and the detail really nice on this figure. I am really enjoying like it was detail they, they put on this figures belt printing leg printing um torso printing back printing um has a special helmet right here um and and this brown color um and then here's his head And then he gets a uh, kind of like a Midwest uh, shotgun type of blaster. Um, but yeah. So this is a very, very accurate to the actual figure. Because we do see this, uh, the, we do see a couple of these guys in the Star Wars movie, movies if you look carefully in the background. So this is definitely going to be the big drive for this set right here. Is because this figure right here is exclusive to this set. And uh, we do see multiples in the movies, so I think a lot of hardcore collectors are really going to try to get their hands on, on uh, at least six or plus of that figure. So that's that's actually really making this set a lot more better, because the Budge Droid is actually available in the um, Tri-Droid as well, so it's not exclusive to the Vulture Droid. Right, so let's get on to the big baddie himself, the Vulture Droid, and... Um, this is just a very interesting Vulture Droid design because we have never had the Vulture Droid this big. Last time we had the Vulture Droid this big was the Vulture Droid Bomber, which was the Clone Wars set all the way back in 2009. Hard to believe that was actually five years ago. Um, and so basically how it works is you can put his head all the way out like that. Can't twist it though. Um, you may notice actually on the inside the Vulture Droid has a... Um, you can actually put, they say to put the pilot or the battle droid in it, but actually the vulture droids are like their own, like they're like one, they're a droid. They're, they don't actually, I'm pretty sure have pilots. Last time I checked. Um, either way, there is the control panel. Um, and a lot of, a lot, all of this details right here and here and here, it's all stickers. Kind of depressing. There wasn't that much. It, the only printed pieces were the buzz droid actually so um that was a bit depressing um anyhow if you flip the wings like that and get in action mode basically um and you can move these around however you want you know you can do all kinds of crazy things if you want to 
Um, I keep it simple, make it look as accurate from the movie as possible. Anyhow, great set design. And uh, just to give you guys a comparison, so I'm going to get Anakin's Jedi Interceptor to see, to show you how big this Vulture Droid really is. You can see these two are coming in around the same size. So they're actually really, this uh, Vulture Droid is really big compared to this set. So these two having a battle um, would actually be very, very cool. Um, so yeah, bump the camera there. Um, anyhow, very cool Vulture Droid. A lot of sticker detailing here. Um, all of this right here is actually just detail. Now, right there and there, you have the spring-loaded missiles. Again, we seem to be getting this in almost all the sets now. Um, anyhow, you actually get three of these, so in case you lose one. Um, anyhow, we're going to fit these into there. Alright, so they're locked and loaded. And all we have to do to release them is just press them down. Wow. That went pretty far across the room. I'm going to try and hit the guard. There we go. Um, so yeah. That is the big action feature. There's no flick fire missiles, thank God, on the on this set. Um, so that's a big relief for all of us who hated the flick fire missiles. Um, now these can actually be turned 360 degrees. It's no like just only just that and it's done. You can turn it however you want it. Um, so I thought that was actually kind of interesting that Lego did that. Um, but if you just, you know, turn it like that, take its head, kind of stick it out like that. It looks very cool. Um, and just to show you guys, I'll go ahead and put the battle droid in, in here and just show that it can indeed fit. And the head can go down like that. Even though that's not accurate. Right, so there's some back detail. And, uh, yeah. So it is pretty much just how you see it. You're going to buy it for the looks by far. Um, I do actually am definitely going to suggest multiples um, because we haven't gotten a Vulture Droid in a very long time in an accurate color. The last time we got this type of Vulture Droid in this color was way... I'm, I may be staying correcting myself, but I'm pretty sure it was all the way back at... with uh, the Some of you may have not even heard of this, which was the Ahsoka's Jedi um, Starfighter. There's a dark blue small vulture droid in that set um, with the Ahsoka Starfighter. Very limited set, but uh, that was the last time we actually saw the vulture droid in this particular color. I may be wrong, maybe, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Let me know in the comments if I uh, accidentally made a mistake there. Right, so because we haven't seen this in, in the vulture droid in this color in a long time now, um then it actually definitely is something to get because you need this for your uh, button bases and mocks. I'm definitely going to have like three, four plus um, all the way up in the air flying around. Um, I'm going to get a lot of clear stilt so I can, uh, you know, get them so that they look like they're flying and stuff. But overall, these are very accurate size Vulture Droids. So those of you who think that this is oversized, Lego has been undersizing the Vulture Droid this entire time. Um, the Vulture Droid, if I was looking at concept art, is actually um, this big. And if you look at the Clone Wars series, there's like a couple episodes where like the clones are trying to, you know, defeat uh, Vulture Droids. They are huge compared to the Clone Troopers. Um, a lot of people always thought the Vulture Droids were just kind of small. They're actually kind of big, um, at least probably 30 feet if they were in real life. Um, very, very tall droids, and they're very big, so this is actually a complete size accurate to the minifigure Vulture Droid, so I found that very interesting. Right, so that is actually it to this.
It was a very simple build, by the way. It doesn't take long, so if you're buying multiples, then you're not going to have too hard or get too bored um, building a lot of these at the same time. Here's the box, guys. You may notice there's no piece counts because it's from Europe. Um, yep. There's the back of the box, so legs turning, um, the flick or the spring loaded missiles, action scene, battle droid going in it. So, we've got a lot of different action going in this uh, box. And then here's actually a top view. You may notice it's actually a very thin box. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, $25 for 205 pieces. Is that worth it? Well, we're going to look at this. Uh, compared to the two other $25 sets, the you know Jedi Interceptor and the V-Wing, this is definitely probably the, the one that's worth it the most out of those three, or two, the, uh, three including this one. It's because you're getting extremely brand new. It's not a redesigned figure. It's extremely brand spanking new. Um, and it's the exclusive to this set. You get a Buzz Droid, and you get a uh, Battle Droid. So that's three minifigures. Plus, you get a, a very, very common vehicle in the Clone Wars. So I'm definitely going to have to 100% recommend this vehicle, guys, or this set. Um, because you're going to get a lot of good use out of it. Um, you're gonna, you need to build up your se Separatist army just as much as your Clone or Republic army. And I'm kind of lacking on that. Some of you know that. You know, If you take a look at that Clone Army video, you may be like, well... Where's all the battle droids to go against all the clones? So I'm kind of lacking there. So I need to kind of polish that droid army up. Anyhow, um, so definitely a great set. $25, I'm going to say, is definitely actually worth it. Even though the piece count, piece uh, price per piece are, uh, is a bit off there. Um, but, you know, maybe wait till it's $20 and buy a whole bunch of them at the same time. Definitely buy one you know at retail um if it doesn't go back and down in the sale go down in sales um in the next couple months um i think 25 dollars to buy one is fine if you're buying multiples wait till it drops a little bit in price um but i actually am going to suggest multiples um get like three maybe um because this would be a really cool thing to have with your friends especially for your younger kids if you have like a bunch of these you could uh, be doing a lot of cool like space battles and such like that I'm definitely going to get multiples, and I'm very, very excited for this set, guys. It is a wonderful Vulture Droid. Um, LEGO has done a great job. Very accurate design. Um, yeah, so, guys, if you enjoyed this review, give it a big thumbs up below. Comment, what did you think? Do you think this is a great redesign of the Vulture Droid? Are you, uh, are, you, are you enjoying the fact that it's uh, minifigure size, height, accurate? Um, have you been missing the Vulture Droid? Do you think you need to build up your Separatist Army? Let me d know. Like, there is so much you can talk about in those comments below. Release your inner thoughts down there. All right, guys. Um, that's going to do it for this. Definitely check out the rest of the 2014 Winter Wave LEGO Star Wars sets. They are all on my channel, so if they're not already, if they're not there, they'll probably be there by the, very soon, if not already. All right, guys. That's about going to do it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to stay subscribed as well. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.